Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago, the beautiful twin republic found among the Caribbean islands. Here we are known for many things such as oil and the steel pan, but today we are going to discover another breathtaking aspect of Trinidad. Can you think of any area in Trinidad that is well known for its flora and fauna? Maybe you have thought of one, or maybe more than one. Were you able to come up with the Nariva Swamp? If so, if this area is completely foreign to you, that is not a problem. The Nariva Swamp is found on the east coast of Trinidad and is the largest and most diverse wetland ecosystem in Trinidad. The Nariva Swamp was declared an environmentally sensitive area in 2006 in relation to the environmentally sensitive area rules created in 2001 in Trinidad and Tobago. From previous sessions, we discussed why areas are deemed environmentally sensitive as per the National Protected Areas Policy of Trinidad and Tobago. Within the Nariva Swamp, one can find an environmentally sensitive species, the West Indian manatee. Let's look at an excerpt of a video from the Environmental Management Authority based on the West Indian manatee in the Nariva Swamp. Once thought to be mermaids by shipwrecked sailors, the West Indian manatee is also known as the sea cow. Unlike the mermaid though, the manatee has a fusiform body, meaning that it is tapered at both the head and the tail, with no obvious neck crease. Declining numbers of the West Indian manatee population caused it to be designated by the EME as an environmentally sensitive species in 2005. So there are two subspecies of the West Indian manatee. There's the Florida manatee and the Antillean manatee. The Antillean manatee is found in Trinidad, um, in the nervous swamp in Trinidad's waters. In the mouth, you have what are known as marching molars, so they are continuously replaced. The nostrils uh, have two little plugs so that during diving, these plugs come and seal the respiratory passages, the nasal passages so that the animal stays down and you know, water does not enter the tract. So it's able to dive and stay, have a nice seal on the, on the nostrils. The eyes are fairly small. There are no um, ears that you can visibly see, but they are there. They have two pectoral flippers. Um, the skin itself is fairly, it's on the rougher side really. It gets a little smoother as the animal gets older. It can be somewhat wrinkled, especially in the younger animal. They also have a caudal flipper, and this end of the body is very strong. So when we're handling the animals, we tend to try and avoid the hind end. It's a very powerful muscles at the back, so this can actually deliver a very strong blow and that can damage an individual pretty badly. A herbivore, a full-grown adult manatee can be up to three meters long. Newborn calves, range from about 80 to 160 centimeters long and they can weigh about 30 kilograms. Manatees, are, they have a gestation period of just over a year, so roughly 13 months and the mothers or the dam would stay with their calf or the calf would stay with the, with the dam for up to two years so that their reproductive cycle um, can run anywhere um, from two to three years. So that is also, in a way, a threat to population expansion because they have such a long um, intercalving interval. So between one calf and another, it could be anywhere from two to three years. As seen from the pie chart, Trinidad can only account for 1% of the total manatee population worldwide. A synoptic survey completed in January 2014 gave the world population as 4,831 for the West Indian manatee. This gives us even more reason to conserve the West Indian manatee within the Trinidad region. 
In Trinidad, the West Indian manatee is faced with threats such as hunting, hydrological and ecological variances, as well as environmental destruction such as pollution. This species must be conserved. Now the question is, what can we do? There are three important things we can do to conserve the species. One, protect the habitat. Two, monitor the status of the species. And three, bring public awareness. Works are ongoing to bring awareness with the help of government agencies and private organizations. The West Indian manatee, an environmentally sensitive species in Trinidad. Islands in the sun Islands in the fun mm -hmm. 